So first you try to avoid the area, put on the, forgot to put on repellent, didn't do a tick check the first day or take a shower, and now we have one that's actually embedded in our skin. How are we going to remove it? Here's some things you're not going to do. You're not going to put a match on it. You're not going to put petroleum jelly on it. All right, nail polish, you're not going to sing to it. It's not going to work. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to get tick forceps, okay? And these are just fine point forceps. Um, and you need to get right at the mouth parts, the same as the OH was showing earlier. We can see another picture down here. These are the chelacer and the hypostome, all right? That's the barbed part right there. These are the palps. These actually push out to the side. But right here in the middle, that's what's actually embedded in the skin. What you want to do is try to get as all of that material out and a, a microscopic amount of skin comes out as well at the same time if you do a good job. If you do any of these other methods, it can stress the tick. And if you stress the tick, then you get in a situation where it may begin to regurgitate or something else may happen and then it actually pushes that blood that it originally took in back into your skin. If there's any pathogen in there, then it could be transmitted to you. So you want to be playing the game of, uh, you know, almost like a silent warrior. They don't know you're there. You just slip the forceps in and then one smooth pull out and the tick comes right out. And it's really, it's really easy once you've done it a few times, especially every single time you do it, it's, it's a clean move. Now here's the other thing. Once you do that, Here's the other thing I'll tell you about this as well. Uh, I do two things here. So when I go hiking, my, my family's always out in the woods. I actually keep a first aid kit in my car, just a one day first aid kit. The nice thing with that is it's got the different alcohol swabs, et cetera, for later on. But I also keep a pair of tick forceps in there. And then in my house, I also have a pair of tick forceps. The last thing you want to do is find a tick on you and be on Amazon Prime that night. <laughs> Not the time for it, all right? So make sure you go ahead and order them today. If you want, pull it up later, and I'll help you find uh, some good forceps for you. Um, and the other thing you can do is obviously keep the tick, okay? Keeping the tick is a great idea. It's one of these things, again, as far as definitive diagnosis or just knowing if it was a tick. Sometimes people have things on them that aren't ticks. Also being able to speciate, tell which type of tick it is. These are all important to say, like, oh, that's actually, you know, a dermatic center, okay? That doesn't carry Lyme disease, stuff like that. That's what the physician will be able to do for you. So all you got to do is take that tick. When you take it off, put it on a piece of tape, stick it on the fridge. When you go to the physicians, bring it with you. You're all set. You could also put it in ethanol or alcohol. Uh